They swim with mouths agape, exposing rows of long, narrow, needle-like teeth. They have been falsely labeled as man-eaters and will readily approach and investigate divers, but they are only known to attack when provoked. I just wanted to warn you today, we have a lot of shark activity I, in the area. We heard, uh, we not okay. going in the water. Right? All right. From the air, the white sand beaches and clear green water seem inviting. But the aerial view also reveals a terrifying mix. Bathers and surfers happily enjoying the water, oblivious to the schools of hungry sharks sharing the same waves. Great storms continue to pass the Cape of Good Hope making the waters in the channel murky. Yet before the day is over, the men will record nine great white sharks on film. Now a 14-foot white shark grabs the bait and the men on deck begin to pull the shark toward the cage for West to film. The powerful shark strikes the cage and Wes is thrown against the wire screens. Wes signals to Walt to film another shark. The sharks now seem to be coming from all directions, and both divers are kept busy swinging their cameras towards the next great fish. Immediately, another 14-footer, bait and rope clenched firmly in its jaws, is pulled towards the cage. Refusing to release the bait, the shark crashes against the cage. Suddenly, in its frenzy, the great beast jams its head into the cage with the diver. Wes is knocked to his knees as the shark forces itself further into the cage. The powerful jaws and multiple rows of teeth flash back and forth above his head. 